In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can make our players shoot in the Game Maker Studio. So this is an example of what we will be making today, and we can see this little girl down in the bottom left-hand corner. And as I jump through the game, I can press the space bar to make my players shoot the bad guys. Alrighty, so it's pretty straightforward. There's one more new thing that we're going to learn as well in this tutorial, and it's as the girl moves around, you can see that she can look right and she can look left, depending on what way we're facing. Okay, so you can move around the game going left and right, just depending on which arrow keys we have pushed. Alrighty, so let's pop over to Game Maker and get started on making this game. We will need to click on the New tab today and make sure you save into your directory. So I'm saving in my Documents and then into my Year 10 IPR folder. The name I'm going to give this project is Shooting, and I'm going to click on Create. And that will set up my folder structure in my account and open up a brand new game space in Game Maker. Okay, so here it is. Before we start in Game Maker, we're going to have to copy these resources into that folder. So I've got a few pictures and a few sounds there. I'm just going to press Control C to copy them. And then I'm going to go and find that folder that I've just made called Shooting. I'm going to make a resources folder and inside that resources folder I'm just going to press control V to paste in those resources. Okay, so all our resources are there. We're ready to get started in Game Maker now. So let's pop over there and start bringing in our sprites. The first sprite that we need to bring in is going to be a bullet and it's got a blue background on it that we need to remove. So check the box that says remove background. We'll give it the name SPR underscore bullet and click OK. We'll then make another sprite. It's going to be girl left. Make sure you remove the background. Give it the name SPR girl left. Next sprite will be the girl right, I'm guessing. Yep. So make sure you remove the background on girl right. Give it the name SPR underscore girl right. Still kicking on, we've got the monster looking to the left, so we'll bring that in next. Remove the background and give it the name SPR underscore monster left. And then we've got monster right, make sure you remove the background again. We'll call it SPR underscore monster right. Oops. Click OK. What else have we got to bring in? We don't want the sky, that's our background, so we'll bring that in later, and we'll bring in the wall. For the wall, you don't want to remove the background, so make sure that box is unchecked, otherwise you'll lose the shadow around the outside of that wall. Okay, so give that the name SPR underscore wall. Click OK, and that's all the sprites that you're going to need to bring in for now. So what we're going to do next is bring in the sounds. Sounds we want to bring in, we've got three of them. First one's called die, so SND underscore die, click OK. Next sound that we're going to bring in is the gun. Give that the name SND underscore gun. So that's when we shoot our gun, you'll actually, whoops, we'll hear it. I wasn't meant to make that sprite, so I'll just delete that. And the final sound that we're going to bring in is the kill sound. So when we actually kill one of the bad guys, We'll have a sound for that as well to show they've disappeared from our game. So SND kill, that one will be called. I should have you three sounds now in your game. As you saw before, we've got one background that we're going to bring in. So click on the background button at the top and load him in. It's going to be the sky. Okay, and don't remove the background from it, otherwise you'll lose the section at the bottom. So give it the name BG underscore sky. And click OK. So there's all our bits and pieces there. We can now convert our sprites into objects. Okay, so to make an object, we press the blue ball at the top. Now, a bit of a trick for the first one here. We have got a bullet. Okay, but this time, when we give it the name, we're going to call it obj underscore bullet left. This is the bullet that's going to get shot when we're facing to the left. And you can attach the bullet sprite to it and click OK. Then we're going to make another sprite called obj underscore bullet right. And it's going to have the same sprite. So the bullet's going to look the same, but it's going to be two different objects. And this is when we shoot the bullet out towards the right. 
Okay, so you'll have two different bullets. Making another object now, I've got obj underscore girl left, and attach the girl left to that sprite, uh, to that object. Next one will be the girl right, so obj underscore girl right, attach the girl right sprite, click OK. Then we've got our monsters, so obj underscore monster left will be up first, attach the monster left sprite to it, and then we will bring in the right monster, so obj underscore monster right, attach the monster sprite to it, click OK. Uh, finally, we're going to add in another sprite here, which is obj underscore wall, and choose the red wall to go with it. Make sure you check solid for that one, as we don't want our player or our bad guys leaving the game room. So click on OK for that. Now we do want to put a little score panel in here as well, so in your objects, let's make a blank object. So it's going to be obj underscore score, with no sprite attached to it. We're just going to draw it ourselves later on. So click OK. That's all our objects brought in now, so let's just create our first level. It's our first and only level, so click the Create Level or Create Room button at the top. Give it the name Level 1. Change the width to 640 and the height to 480. With your background, go halfway down where it says No Background and select the sky. And I want you to scroll down a little bit here and check the box that says Stretch, and that will make it fill up the entire room space. Um, scrolling back up, you can go to your Objects tab now, and you can start to decorate your room. So basically, you want a red wall around the outside of this room, so no one can escape from it. And it is a platform game, so chuck in a couple of platforms here and there. Uh, I might just throw a few over here, here. Alrighty, on those platforms you can have a few bad guys floating around, so I'll put one there, put one there, maybe one down here. Probably to put them at different levels too, I should have, so they move at different speeds. I might do that quickly with the left one. Alright, so I've got a few monsters there to try and avoid. Uh, we're going to put in our score panel, which is going to go up in the top left hand corner here. And we'll put in our object girl right to start with, down the bottom right hand, uh, left hand corner. She'll be facing towards the right. I think that's everything that we're going to need. Yep. So you should have a level looking something like that. Alright, so I'll press the green tick there. Um, I'm going to stop the video now. That's just showing you how to bring in all the sprite sounds, backgrounds, and turning them into objects, and how to create your room. In the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to program your game and get it working.